Hello everyone, Kazo War here, and this video is going to be about how to RNG abuse gift Pokemon in 5th generation games. In this specific video, I'm going to be showing how to RNG abuse your starter, but the same method should work on other gift Pokemon like, um, like, um, like the fossils you can get when you turn in the fossils, you get the Pokemon back at you, back and that should work for, for that, and it should work for pretty much any other Pokemon you get from an NPC for free. So, um, you're gonna open up RNG Report, you're gonna go into Time Finder here, 5th generation Time Finder. You're gonna wanna select your uh, profile so you have the right ID and secret ID number, which is needed for Shiny, but it's not needed for non Shiny Pokemon. You're gonna wanna go, um, so what we're going to be doing is getting the correct IVs, but we also want a specific uh, PID. If you click on this one, it only does this stuff here, but it doesn't do the IVs. So you would get easier results, but we're going to try to get something that has some good IVs. Not flawless, because um, I don't want to sit here waiting forever trying to find a spread. So we're going to... Also set this to only 10 because uh, for this video I don't want to be saving like a thousand times to advance the frame. That would probably be a very long and very boring video. So I'm going to have it max on 10 because that shouldn't be too much problem there. I'm going to want, let's see, I guess I'm just going to do what I did on my first black version before I restart it for these tutorials. I do have the same ID number, so I know of a spread I can easily find that won't take too long for this tutorial. An adamant nature, uh, max uh, max shiny at 10 frames, and I believe I had greater than or equal to 30, greater than or equal to 30 for speed, and for these I just had it greater than or equal to 20 because. It was just a test. I didn't really care how perfect it was. I just wanted it to, uh, you know, test it out. This min and max frame set to one because you want the IV uh, number thing to be on frame one so that you don't have to advance that. You just need to save a few times to advance the other um, number for the PID. We're going to. Uh, Go to Gift Pokemon here. We're going to click Generate. And it's going to take a bit to find. Actually, never mind, that found pretty fast. But usually it'll take a long time to find um, spreads. I wonder if there's a faster way. I'm not really sure yet. I hope there's a program out there that lets you search. Like, you have that thing running overnight that searches for, like, all spreads on all years and all months but I'm not really sure of that so we have this here I'm going to spam cancel because you have to like click it a bunch before it registers because it's when it's searching it like lags it like locks the interface out or something so the IV is on frame one which means soon if you hit your seed and you start the game you will be on frame one so you don't have to advance that um, the shiny frame is on 60, which means um, the PID RNG will be on frame 60, and it'll give us this nature with that ability, those IVs, you know, and that's the time you need to hit there, that time. Um, so we're going to go to the back here, and we're going to go into Gen 5 PRD RNG. We're gonna right click and click copy C to clipboard. We're gonna highlight all that and we're gonna paste that in there. We're gonna click this one, it says calculate initial PID frame. It means we start on frame 52 and we need to get the frame 60. Oops. Frame 60. Actually, hold on. Gotta click gift Pokemon as well on the counter type, forgot that. Click generate and we. We're on frame 52, we need to be on frame 60 for that shiny frame right there. So that means we've got to save to advance frame by 1. So I have to save by 1, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, and after the eighth save, we'll be on frame 60, and our Pokemon will be sh uh, adamant nature and shiny. And it will be this gender, ping on the gender ratio, which will be in for all. And also have ability zero if it had multiple abilities. So that's how that is there. So we're going to go back into here. We're going to start up our DS. And we're going to enter that date. Uh, February 13th, 2013 at 10.59. And we're going to be hitting f a second 28. Let's see. 2. 13. Uh, 2013. Hit A on that. There we go down here to the time. And it needs to be 10. And it needs to be 59. Now, there's something I forgot to mention in the last video that I should mention here. And I'm probably going to add an annotation. When you see this part where it says minutes before target zero, this means the how many minutes earlier since it's zero I set to 59 because minute 59 but if you're trying to hit a super low second like second two you know that only gives you like two seconds from pressing A to actually do it which is impossible so you set it a minute earlier so I don't have to set the 58 so that I have to wait like almost a whole minute you know to go around the clock before I can hit that one second so that's that there I'll probably put an annotation for the first video on how to RNG your ID number so I need to hit uh, 28 seconds here. So I'm putting that there, and I have no key presses, so I have to press no buttons. So I'm put my mouse over start, my finger over A, and I'm gonna hit both at the exact same time. So I'm gonna get out of this menu as fast as possible. I'm gonna go back into here, and I'm gonna wait on the screen for the timer. I'm not gonna press any buttons because I have no key presses for this um, frame here or the seat. I mean, now I gotta hit right at the last second, like so. And then I'm gonna make sure I don't press no buttons. Not even trying to tap A. I have a bad habit about tapping A. And when I was first trying to do this stuff, I kept having to restart because I kept mashing A which was like an instinct you know to mash A as soon as the game starts so I'm going to start this here now if I did hit my seed correctly um, let's see I'm going to set this to 1 we're going to go to gen 5 IVs my IV f um, frame should be this number right here which was you know some good numbers for s attack and speed and some decent numbers for the rest stats. You know, it's not flawless, but if you want flawless, then you're going to want to probably search for a lot longer or find a flawless non shiny and then abuse your ID number to be shiny. Um, and under PID RNG, my initial frame is 52, so it should already be at frame 52 right now. I need to advance it eight times and go to 60, so I'm going to click here and go to save. Uh, I'm going to save it once, so now it should be at frame 53 after save is complete. Going to save again, and now it should be on frame 54. We're going to save again, and now it should be on frame 54. 55. Now uh, you can see here why I didn't want to search for, you know, a range of like 300 or so because if I came up with a result that was like, you know, 500 or, you know, 200 saves, that would take a lot of time for this video. So now I'm on frame 56 for this save. And save again. Frame 57. I'm sure if you have a very high um, shiny frame advancement, it would probably be easier to have a calculator with you, and then every time you save, you just mash enter on one plus one. You know, it, if, you know if your calculator is good enough, it should, uh, you know, where it would take the answer and 
multiply or add their original question to it. Save again. So now I'm on frame 58. Like like this calculator, the one built into Windows. If you just do one uh, plus one, and you keep it keeps going up and up and up and up and up. So you probably use something like that to keep track. I'm gonna save again here. Now it should be on frame 59. This should be the seventh time I've saved. And then now the last save for, for frame 60. You see this chat out pitch here? If you're not doing an RNG and a starter, then you, you'd have the chat out in your party, preferably two chat outs. And you have the chatter with the customized you know cry or whatever and you would go back and forth between each one and if you know if it was low and then it was a higher pitch and then you know not as high as a, that high but you know higher than that one that's how you would advance the frame it would be a lot faster and you could keep track of it more easily now I'll probably I'll probably do that in a video where I RNG or something else but since I'm RNG in the starter I don't have it and now anyways I am on frame 60 now so I'm just going to Get my starter Pokemon here, and I'm just gonna pick Tepig, as I believe the other two probably wouldn't like an adamant nature. And now, once the battle starts, the Tepig should be a shiny, and if it's not, then. I either saved too many times or not enough times or I didn't hit my f uh, initial seed. In that case, you just go back to the beginning of this video and try again. Now let's see what we did here. So that Tepig is shiny. So it's since this is true, then this is obviously true. It is male. So that pretty much means that's true. And if this is true, then like nine times out of nine and the nine, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you know, chances are if that's true, then this is also true right here. That right here is also true. So, that's how you RNG abuse the starter and most other gift Pokemon. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please write and comment and subscribe. And the next video will probably be how to RNG abuse um, egg Pokemon from the daycare. I haven't done that yet myself, so I'm probably going to do that before I make a video on it. But it sh shouldn't be a any harder than the other stuff because the ID number was super easy and this is super easy I'm sure that would be super easy as well so I hope you enjoy this video and the next video will be about the um, eggs